I made the top in this video of best 20 historical sites to visit in France. I included here monuments, historical buildings, cathedrals, old medieval villages and many more. A lot of these historic places are included in the UNESCO World Heritage Sites and in our days attract millions of tourists each year. Number 20. Basilique de Vézelay in Burgundy. Also known as the Vézelay Abbey, it is a Benedictine and Claniac monastery in Vézelay, in the east-central French department of Yonne. It was constructed between 1120 and 1150. The Benedictine Abbey Church, now the Basilica of Saint Mary Magdalene, is one of the great masterpieces of Burgundian Romanesque art and architecture. Sacked by the Huguenots in 1569, the building suffered neglect in the 17th and the 18th centuries, and some further damage during the period of the French Revolution. The church and hill at Vézelay were added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in 1979 because of their importance in medieval Christianity and outstanding architecture. The abbey was raised by the Pope in person to the rank of Basilica a title granted to the high places of Christianity, which legitimizes pilgrimages to this place. Number 19. The Palace of the Popes in Avignon, Provence. The Palace of the Popes is a historical palace located in Avignon, southern France. It is one of the largest and most important medieval Gothic buildings in Europe. Once a fortress and palace, the papal residence was a seat of Western Christianity during the 14th century. The construction of the palace began in 1252 and became the residence of the popes in 1309. Although the palace remained under papal control for over 350 years after their 1307 departure, it gradually deteriorated despite the restoration in 1516. When the French Revolution broke out in 1789, it was already in a bad state when it was seized and sacked by revolutionary forces. Since 1995, the Palace of the Popes has been classified along with the historic center of Avignon as a UNESCO World Heritage Site for its outstanding architecture and historical importance for the papacy. The palace is today a historical and architectural landmark and primarily a tourist attraction, attracting around 650,000 visitors annually putting it regularly in the top 10 most visited attractions in France. Number 18. Arc de Triomphe in Paris. The Arc de Triomphe de l'Etoile is one of the most famous monuments in Paris. Standing at the western end of the Champs Elysees, at the center of Place Charles de Gaulle. The Arc de Triomphe honors those who fought and died for France in the French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars, with the names of all French victories and generals inscribed on its inner and outer surfaces. Inspired by the Arch of Titus in Rome, Italy, the Arc de Triomphe has an overall height of 50 meters and was inaugurated in 1836. Number 17. Pont du Gard near Nîmes, Languedoc. The Pont du Gard is an ancient Roman aqueduct bridge built in the 1st century AD to carry water over 50 kilometers to the Roman colony of Nemausus. It crosses the river Gardon near the town of Vers Pont du Gard in southern France. The Pont du Gard is the tallest of all Roman aqueduct bridges, as well as one of the best preserved. It was added to the UNESCO's list of World Heritage Sites in 1985 because of its exceptional preservation, historical importance and architectural ingenuity. Number 16. The Notre Dame Cathedral in Chartres Center. Chartres Cathedral, also known as the Cathedral of Our Lady of Chartres, is a Roman Catholic church in Chartres about 80 km southwest of Paris and is the seat of the Bishop of Chartres. Mostly constructed between 1194 and 1220, it stands on the site of at least five cathedrals that have occupied the site since the Diocese of Chartres was formed as an Episcopal See in the 4th century. It was built in the High Gothic and Romanesque styles. 
the cathedral is well preserved and well restored. The majority of the original stained glass windows survive intact, while the architecture has seen only minor changes since the early 13th century. The cathedral was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979, which called it the high point of French Gothic art and the masterpiece. Today the cathedral is attracting large numbers of Christian pilgrims, many of whom come to venerate its famous relic, the Sancta Camisa, said to be the tunic worn by the Virgin Mary at Christ's birth. Number 15. Notre Dame Cathedral in Reims, Champagne Notre Dame de Reims is a Roman Catholic cathedral in the French city of the same name, the Archiepiscopal See of the Archdiocese of Reims. The cathedral was dedicated to the Virgin Mary and was the traditional location for the coronation of the kings of France. The cathedral church is thought to have been founded by the Bishop Micasius in the early 5th century. Clovis was baptized a Christian here by Saint Remigius, the Bishop of Reims, about a century later. He was the first Frankish king to receive this sacrament. Construction of the present Reims Cathedral began in the 13th century and concluded in the 14th century. A prominent example of high Gothic architecture, it was built to replace an earlier church destroyed by fire in 1210. Although little damaged during the French Revolution, the present cathedral saw extensive restoration in the 19th century. It was severely damaged during World War I and the church was again restored in the 20th century. The cathedral is today a major tourist destination, receiving about 1 million visitors annually. It has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1991. Number 14. Saint-Malo, Brittany Saint-Malo is a historic French port in Brittany, on the English Channel coast. Situated on a rocky promontory, surrounded by the English Channel, Saint-Malo's current location was chosen by monks fleeing walls in the 6th century. One of these monks named Maclo was later canonized as Saint-Malo. The walled city had a long history of piracy earning much wealth from local extortion and overseas adventures. During the Second World War, the Germans used the fortifications as part of their Atlantic Wall strategy. The Allies repeatedly attacked St. Malo for two weeks in 1944 until the Germans surrendered. When it was all over, nearly 80% of the city was leveled by bombs and fire. Reconstruction began in 1948 and today there is no sign that most of this medieval city was constructed in the mid 20th century. Number 13. The village of Rikevir in Alsace. Rikevir is a commune in the Hondrin department in Grand East in northeastern France. A popular tourist attraction for its historical architecture. Rikevir is also known for the wines produced in the village. Originally the property of the Dukes of Württemberg, the town was converted to Protestantism in the 16th century. Rikevir looks today more or less as it did in the 16th century. The town is surrounded by its medieval fortifications and is overlooked by a castle from the same period that is today a museum. The village is a member of the Most Beautiful Villages of France Association. Number 12. Le Beau de Provence near Avignon. Le Beau de Provence is a commune in the Bouche du Rhone department in the Provence Alpes Côte d'Azur region of southern France. Named after the province of Provence, it is considered one of the most beautiful villages in France and has over 1.5 million visitors per year although it has only 22 residents in the upper part of the commune and 436 for the whole commune. Number 11. Musée d'Orsay in Paris. 
The Musée d'Orsay is a museum in Paris on the left bank of the Seine. It is housed in the former Gare d'Orsay. The Bio Arts railway station built between 1898 and 1900. The museum holds mainly French art dating from 1848 to 1914, including paintings, sculptures, furniture and photography. It also houses the largest collection of Impressionist and Post-Impressionist masterpieces in the world. Today it is one of the largest art museums in Europe. Number 10. Mont Saint-Michel in Normandy Mont Saint-Michel is a tidal island and mainland commune in Normandy. As of 2019, the island had a population of 29. The commune's position on an island just a few hundred meters from land made it accessible at low tide to the many pilgrims to its abbey, but defensible as an incoming tide stranded, drove off or drowned would be assailants. The island remained unconquered during the Hundred Years' War. The abbey was closed and converted into a prison initially to hold clerical opponents of the Republican regime until 1863. It was officially declared a historic monument in 1874. Mont Saint-Michel and its bay were added to the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites in 1979. Number 9. Chateau de Versailles, near Paris. The Palace of Versailles is a former royal residence built by King Louis XIV, located in Versailles, about 12 miles west of Paris. The palace and park were designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1979 for its importance as the center of power, art and science in France during the 17th and 18th centuries. Some 15 million people visit the palace park or gardens of Versailles every year, making it one of the most popular tourist attractions in the world. Number 8. Cité des Sciences et de l'Industrie in Paris the City of Science and Industry is the biggest science museum in Europe and is located in the Parc de la Villette in Paris. About 5 million people visit the Cité each year. Attractions include a planetarium, a submarine and special areas for children and teenagers. It is classified as a public establishment of an industrial and commercial character, an establishment specializing in the fostering of scientific and technical culture. The goal of the Cité is to spread scientific and technical knowledge among the public, particularly for youth, and to promote public interest in science, research and industry. Number 7. The Notre Dame Cathedral in Strasbourg Strasbourg Cathedral, or the Cathedral of Our Lady of Strasbourg, is a Catholic cathedral in Strasbourg, Alsace. Although considerable parts of it are still in Romanesque architecture, it is widely considered to be among the finest examples of Rionant Gothic architecture. At 142 meters tall, the Strasbourg Cathedral was the world's tallest building from 1647 to 1874, and today is the sixth tallest church in the world and the highest still standing extant structure built entirely in the Middle Ages. In 1988, the Strasbourg Cathedral was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List along with the historic center of the city because of its outstanding Gothic architecture. Number 6. The Georges Pompidou Center and Museum of Art in Paris The Centre Pompidou is a complex building in the Beauborg area of the 4th arrondissement of Paris. It was designed in the style of high-tech architecture and completed in 1977. It was the first major example of an inside-out building with its structural system, mechanical systems and circulation exposed on the exterior of the building. It houses the public information library, the Musée National d'Art Moderne, which is the largest museum for modern art in Europe, and the Center for Music and Acoustic Research. It is named after Georges Pompidou, the president of France from 1969 to 1974, who commissioned the building. Number 5. The Eiffel Tower in Paris. 
The Eiffel Tower is a broad iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris. It is named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. It was constructed from 1887 to 1889 as the centerpiece of the 1889 World's Fair. Although initially criticized by some of France's leading artists and intellectuals for its design, it has since become a global cultural icon of France and one of the most recognizable structures in the world. The Eiffel Tower is the most visited monument with an entrance fee in the world. Number 4. The Louvre Museum in Paris The Louvre is the world's most visited museum and a historic landmark in Paris. It is the home of some of the best known works of art, including the Mona Lisa. A central landmark of the city, it is located on the right bank of the Seine in the city's first arrondissement. The museum is housed in the Louvre Palace, originally built in the late 12th and 13th century and converted in 1546 into the primary residence of the French kings. The museum opened on the 10th of August 1793 with an exhibition of 537 paintings. Today, the Musée du Louvre contains more than 380,000 objects and displays 35,000 works of art. Number 3. Gardens of the Chateau de Versailles, near Paris. The gardens of Versailles occupy part of what was once the royal domain of the Chateau of Versailles. Situated to the west of the palace, the gardens cover some 800 hectares of land, much of which is landscaped in the classic French formal garden style. The gardens are now one of the most visited public sites in France, receiving more than 6 million visitors a year. Dating from the time of Louis XIV and still using much of the same network of hydraulics as was used during the Ancien Regime, the fountains contribute to making the gardens of Versailles unique. In 1979, the gardens along with the chateau were inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List for their cultural importance during the 17th and 18th centuries. Number 2. Sacre Cor Basilica in Paris. The Basilica of Sacred Heart of Montmartre is the Roman Catholic Church and minor basilica in Paris, dedicated to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Sacre Cor Basilica is located at the summit of the Montmartre Hill. From its dome, 200 meters above the Seine, the basilica overlooks the entire city of Paris and its suburbs. The breathtaking panorama makes it the most popular tourist destination in the capital after the Eiffel Tower. Completed in 1914, the basilica was formally consecrated in 1919. Number 1. The Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Notre Dame de Paris is a medieval Catholic cathedral on the Ile de la Cité in the fourth arrondissement of Paris. The cathedral dedicated to the Virgin Mary is considered one of the finest examples of French Gothic architecture. Construction of the cathedral began in 1163 and was largely completed by 1260, though it was modified frequently in the centuries that followed. The cathedral is one of the most widely recognized symbols of the city of Paris and the French nation. In the early 21st century, approximately 12 million people visited Notre Dame annually, making it the most visited monument in Paris. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting historical places in France which would have been suitable for this top, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.